We have with us one of those faces that continue to embody the story of our mission and one of the reasons that we are all here tonight. Stephen Ariaga graciously agreed to step in at the last minute. Stephen is a student of the Verrazano School Honors Program, majoring in English Linguistics with minors in Spanish and French. He's an active member of our campus, serving as a senior senator for the student government, a student board member for the College Council, the founding president of the Linguistic Linguistics and Speech Sciences Club and a peer study abroad advisor. And he still has time to study, trust me. Stephen has received numerous scholarships, including the Dr. Michael McCow, class of 71 Richmond College and Catherine O'Donnell Scholarship, and the Clara and Arlie B. Williamson Scholarship. Please help me welcome Stephen to the podium. Good evening, distinguished guests, cinema, psychology, business, physics. I pursued these fields as an undergraduate before finding my resolute passion in languages. These ended pursuits, however, were not failures, but products of my endless curiosity as an intellectual. Having barely graduated from high school without accolades, the College of San Island provided a second chance where my talents flourished. As a linguistics and Spanish double major with minors in French and Latin American studies, my goal of becoming a professor and the first male in my family to earn a college degree is nearing closer, but not without preliminary success. The great Renaissance man, Leonardo da Vinci, once stated, I have been impressed with the urgency of doing. Knowing is not enough, we must apply. Being willing is not enough, we must do. This doctrinal maxim of sorts has led me towards leadership roles to advance the education of my colleagues and my own. Being a CUNY Service Corps, Emerging Leaders Program, and Liberty Partnerships alumnus, a Verrazano student, a C the CSI Linguistics Club's founding president, a Verrazano student, the CSI, a CUNY Pipeline Fellow, a student government senator, and a writing tutor, I refuse to limit myself in overachieving in just one facet of college life. I also attribute these accomplishments to scholarship donors such as yourselves who have allowed me to excel ever onward. Without the Clara and Arlie B. Williamson Scholarship, I would have not studied in Paris, where I discovered the beauty of avant-garde and literature in the shelves of Shakespeare and Company. <laughs> Without the Academy of Retired Professors Scholarship, my studies in Italy or my envi environmental conservation project in Ecuador would have never come to fruition. Without your influence, I will be up with your influence, I will be applying to prestigious graduate schools including UC Davis, Georgetown University, and the University of Basque Country in Spain. My Fulbright application to teach in Mexico is currently being assessed. For to be able to influence, influence globally through academia is amongst the greatest of virtues. These endeavors would not have been possible without your help. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. You are part of the reason that there is no better university system in this country than the CUNY system. I repeat, there is no better university system in the country than the CUNY system. The ambitions of the CSI scholarship recipients and the students here tonight are a testament to this truth. Thank you for allowing us to shine, for being the catalyst that allows us to endlessly achieve excellence. To stand in front of you tonight is an honor like no other. As a future academic, I plan to sit among you one day and inspire dreamers of the highest degree just as you have inspired me. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Gary Richard, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs at the College of Staten Island. I'm so pleased to be here with all of you to celebrate this wonderful college. It is now my pleasure to present a proclamation to the Friends of CSI in celebration of the 40th anniversary and supporting the students of, of the College of Staten Island. Ms. Carol Berardi, president of the Friends of CSI, 
Mr. Anthony DePazio, treasurer of the Friends of CSI, and the founder and one of the most cherished of Staten Islanders, Miss Norma Durego. Please come forward. Tonight, we honor the steadfast commitment of the Friends of CSI to the college. Ms. Berardi, Mr. DeFazio, and Ms. Derigo. As the Friends celebrate their 40th year of service to our students, the, the College of Staten Island is proud to present you and your fellow members with this proclamation in recognition of all that you have done. I'd like to thank Dr. Fritz and Dr. Rashad and the College of Staten Island for this wonderful honor. Uh, I especially would like to thank all the friends of the College of Staten Island. And I'm taking on membership tonight if anybody wants to join us. <laughs> thank you. As I look around this room this evening, and see the crowd we have. When we started, we thought, Ed Volpe said to me, do you think you could get anybody to come? <laughs> I said, why not? They go everywhere else. <laughs> and and we, uh, we had our first event down at the old shower mall, maybe you will remember. And it was a big success. And it continues to be for a wonderful cause. And we thank you. We thank you all everyone that supports it and has made it become as successful as it is and is very well recognized throughout the community. So thank you all for being here. Thank you very much, Ms. Berardi, Mr. DeBazio, and Mr. Rigo and the friends of CSI for your tireless de dedication to our students. Tonight we also celebrate three individuals who, each in their own way, have benefited our society and it's our privilege to present them with the college's President's Medal. Before we make the presentation, it's our honor to mention that New York State Assembly person Nicole Maliotokas and Councilman Stephen Matteo have bestowed certificates of recognition and merit on all of the President's Medal recipients, and we thank them. Tonight's honorees are Dr. Michael Kress with two degrees from CSI 1969 and 1975, Mr. Patrick McDermott, and Ms. Beatrice Victor. Dr. Michael Kress, classes of 1969 and 1975, CSI Vice President for Information Technology and Economic Development and Executive Director of the CUNY High Performance Computing Center, retired, please come forward. <laughs> Dr. Kress, CSI alumnus, we thank you for your dedication to the College of Staten Island through your work to develop the college's computing and technology network, and to the Staten Island community through your efforts to develop progr programs to improve the local economy 
and the quality of life in our borough. Dr. Michael Kress, the College of Staten Island, is pleased and honored to present you with the President's Medal. Thank you so very much, President French and the CSI Cabinet for this prestigious award. Congratulations to my fellow awardees. Many thanks to all the students, staff, faculty, and administration of CSI for such a rich academic life for more than 50 years. Many thanks, too, to all of you who with your generous support of CSI, which has now evolved from a fledgling community college in the 50s with a few hundred students to a PhD granting college with 14,000 students and the most powerful supercomputer in, of any university in the city of New York. A, a very special thanks to my faculty collaborators, including Professor McCluskey, Professor Meehan, Professor Imberman, Professor Peters, Professor Benamoff, and Professor Nichols, and most of all, to Professor Levine for decades of mentorship. <clears throat> and to my family, Michael and Christine, Trisha and Corey, Christina and Troy, Jack, Ryan, Atticus, Patrick, and Zuzu, our three-week-old granddaughter. <laughs> Thank you for a wonderful life. Most of all, to my wife, Bernadette. Thank you for your half century of support, guidance, and love. You truly are the wind, the wind beneath my wings. Many thanks to all of you from the bottom of my heart. Mr. Patrick McDermott. Part. Mr. McDermott, partner McDermott and Thomas Associates, and member of the CSI Foundation Board of Directors, please come forward. Mr. McDermott. You have benefited this college through your long-standing service as a member of the CSI Foundation Board of Directors and serving as past board president. In addition, your dedication to many of the borough's charitable organizations has made Staten Island a better place to live. Mr. Patrick McDermott, the College of Staten Island, is pleased and honored to present you with the President's Medal. Bravo. President uh, Fritz, uh, Provost uh, Rashad, thank you so much for this recognition. I'm uh, deeply honored and uh, very much humbled to uh, have received the uh, Presidential Medal uh, from the College of Staten Island. <clears throat> The, um, it's interesting that you, you wind up getting an award like this and um, the reality is that it has to be shared with some other folks because, as it said, no man is an island and that's especially true for me. So I'd like to share this award with some very special people in my life. Uh, first, my uh, 
business partner, uh, Mark Thomas, and my associates and colleagues at McDermott and Thomas Associates. Without, without their hard work and support, I would not have the freedom to be able to uh, participate in the various community services for which I'm being recognized tonight. In addition, I'd like to uh, share this with my family. My uh, children, Tara, Ryan, and Kate, their uh, spouses, Jim and uh, Kara, my five grandchildren, and most especially with my wife of 43 years, Susan, her love and support sustained me. But tonight is really about celebrating 60 years of the College of Staten Island, providing opportunities of excellence, embracing diversity and inclusion, and transforming lives through the gift of education. And so I congratulate the college for those 60 years of achievement and give my best wishes that they continue to succeed in their mission going forward. And lastly, I want to take a special thank you, particularly from the Board of Directors of the Foundation, to all of you for supporting tonight's gala and for supporting us throughout the year. All the money that's raised from this gala makes a significant difference in the way we can support scholarships for students and other programs of the college, especially during these tight financial uh, times that the college is under. So please join me and the board as we congratulate you with a round of applause for all your support. Thank you very much. Ms. Beatrice Victor, community activist, please come forward. to accompany me. <laughs> Ms. Victor, your tireless commitment to people with brain injuries has vastly improved the quality of life for members of this population. Your efforts on behalf of the island's senior citizens have helped many people live richer and more fulfilling lives. Beatrice Victor, the College of Staten Island is pleased and honored to present you with the President's Medal. expected to be in this room, in this position, to be able to say thank you. Anything and everything I have done has been because there's been a need on Staten Island. And when I say I, you all know there is nothing that can be done without the help of others. We would have to spend the whole night here if I went down the list of the people who have contributed to getting the things done that needed to be done and continue to be done. And by the way, this year, my daughter, who was brain damaged, attended a special class here at this college and was so happy to know that she, too, was going to college just as her brother and sister were. <laughs> I don't think we have enough time here tonight for me to go through the list of thank yous for everybody. But there are a few people here that I really would like to thank very, very much. One of them is the JCC, 
which has offered all kinds of wonderful opportunities for these people. Another one are the couple who have taken over the running of the Senior Olympics, who are here tonight, Mr. and Mrs. Yes, you see, I have short-term memory, so I have to write it down. Uh, I'll get to it. Give me another minute. Well, there is the Mr. and Mrs. Yes, I'll find it. We'll keep talking, I'll find it. Anyhow, I will continue to fight for services to the brain damaged because unless you've had a child like that, you don't realize how much is hidden by that damage. How brilliant some of our brain damaged children are if we just give them a chance to learn at their speed, they will surprise you. Oh, I'm not gonna talk anymore because you came here to have a good time. So. <laughs> But I, 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 there are a couple of people here that I want to acknowledge. The Straneries are here. Jennifer Straneri is here. <laughs> many, many years ago, we started a theater group at Temple Israel. And Jennifer Straneri came along with her husband, the judge, and her brother-in-law, the assemblyman, and there they were with my brain damaged daughter up on the stage performing magnificently. My heart practically burst. I just have to acknowledge them. Then there are two other people that are here tonight who have been running the senior, the Beatrice Victor Senior Olympics, Mr. and Mrs. Paul. Yes, you see, go get my last name again. Hey Paul, what's your last name? There he is. <laughs> I've gone blank in the last name, but not the face. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you so much. Oh, I'll get to him, Paul. Give me a chance. <laughs> He's always trying to upmanship me. Anyhow, thank you all so very much. This has been a magnificent evening for me. I never expected to stand here. I'm a nurse by profession. I never got my degree. So that my children have now all gone to college. And my children are here. My daughter is here from Texas. Laura, stand up. My grandson is here from Washington. My son's wife is here. And I am so proud to be here. Thank you so very, very much.